Tell us about Okay, now this story was an idea that came after my first book was published. Not only was I getting fan mail about my novel, I was getting mail from aspiring writers who either wanted me to advise them or to tell them, you know, how I did my own and how they could go about getting more um, visibility for their work. So I decided to start. First of all, I did a collaborative story on my blog then, and it was so popular. So I said, I can't keep this on my blog. I, I need to give give it out so that everybody can have a stake on it. So I set up another website where people can register and have their own blogs and write and share their own stories. And mostly Nigerians who are well, most of the aspiring writers are Nigerian, so I call it Niger stories. Okay, and, and they're mostly in the romance? No, 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 no. Okay. They, this is more general now. People write on various genres. The only um, commonality is that the, the protagonists, the characters in the stories are Nigerian. Okay. So you have all sorts, Christian, romance, thrillers, literary, all forms. I don't know about governance. Definitely. Yeah. So we also accept articles, but we feel that there are sites that are more dedicated to articles on governance, and so we kind of promote more of the fiction side. But we also accept articles if we feel like during the topical periods, like during the elections, during the 50th anniversary, we actually call for specific articles and stories okay. to deal with this specific point in our national lives. Okay, we'll, we'll be back in a moment. Uh, if you stay tuned, we're going to come back to talk to Nkem later on in the program. When we come back from our break, we'll be talking to our next guest, Okola Okunyemi. Stay tuned.